Yo, I want to move into Windsor, man, Windsor, Ontario. How much would it cost me to live in Windsor, Ontario? What would be my rent? What would be my mortgage payment if I want to own a house? What would be my property taxes? What would be my insurance? What would be my car insurance? What would be my mobile bills? All these things I'm going to share in this video. Namaskar, Adavarse, Vanakkam, what's up everyone? Hope you guys staying home and safe. Um, looks like things gonna change. Looks like we're gonna go out pretty soon. Like, you know, uh, things are rolling in a positive way. Just stay positive, stay healthy. Take care of yourself. These are the times where you need to be very careful of yourself. Drink more water, drink more vitamin C's. You know, make sure you're healthy and your uh, immunity system is strong. And if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button, hit that for an awesome content regarding real estate and my personal journey as a realtor and as an investor and about Windsor, Ontario and many other topics. So if you've been following me and if you like my content, you know what I'm going to ask you. Hit that thumbs up button because if you don't hit that, YouTube doesn't like me. If YouTube doesn't like me, I don't like myself. I don't like making more content, so please do me a favor. As I said, in this video, I'm gonna go over the uh, cost that you can expect to have if you move into Windsor. So for that, I need to make some assumptions just to be sure because, you know, there are many different scenarios uh, will change the cost of living because you could be a single person, you could be a couple, you could be a family, you could be a huge family so i don't know who you are um, but in this video i'll make some assumptions but if your if your profile is different feel free to reach out to us um, me and my team always happy to answer you any questions that you have so for now for the video sake i'll assume that you're a family um, wife and husband and having one kid or two kids so i'll assume that you need a three bedroom house so if you and also in this video, I'll go over if you're an owner, if you want to buy a property, also if you're a renter. So just watch till the end. If you're a renter, I'll cover it in the at the end what you, you could expect, what are the differences from the owner. So first, let me go over if you buy a property. Again, another assumption that you're buying a property like average, um, average homes in Windsor, Ontario, are uh, somewhere from 350 to 400,000. So for the video sake, I'll assume your property you're purchasing is 350,000. So for 350,000, if you buy it with 5% down mortgage um, with interest rate of 2.39 for five years fixed term, um, your mortgage payments will be $1,530. Again, that could change. Uh, if you want to go lib like understand how much your payment can change based on if you increase your mortgage, um, if you increase your down payment, um, certain things you can check. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, there is a website, really cool website, uh, redhub.ca. There you can calculate every details like by changing certain things. So for the video sake, your mortgage payment would be $1530. And of course, if you own a property, you will have property taxes. So that you have to pay for the city. Uh, you could pay it every month or annually. So for the video sake, I'll say monthly. Um, now your monthly cost would be $210, assuming a $350,000 property. Um, again, if you're going for a higher neighborhood, of course, your property taxes will go higher because, you know, it, it really depends on the price point of your property. The property taxes change. And for this size home, three bedroom, two bath or something that a uh, price range of 350000 you can expect the insurance, property insurance will be somewhere $110.00. Again, it could go up if your home is really old and has some things like knob and tube. Uh, if you don't know what it is, don't worry, like some old wiring. So if you're looking at a newer home, so probably your insurance will be lower. And then, because now you own a home, 
you can expect unexpected things you can expect unexpected things i like the <laughs> statement so the unexpected things would be like repairs and maintenance right sometimes you know pipe will break out sometimes something so i'm assuming you know just to be like this one would be like a contingency fund for unexpected things so 200 dollars on an average and of course you will have utility bills so again another assumption again you i'm, I'm assuming you're a three three to four people so average hydro bills if you don't know what's hydro because if you're watching from india or elsewhere probably you know, hydro is a new word hydro is the electrical bill on an average i get for my house uh, 50 dollars and water bill of course in canada you have water and water in in and also waste water bill so together you will get it a full water bill but uh, you will you will be charged for usage you will be ch charged for wastage as well so just be careful on the uh, consumption and uh, how much you take uh, waste the water when you're taking bath or when you flush the toilet hundred times uh, but i'm assuming you know your, your four people just a little bit responsible uh, average water bill you can expect is hundred dollars um, and again in canada of course you need uh, heating so again i'm assuming that furnace you have a gas furnace gas heating and cooling system so if that's the case probably average bills would be 750 sorry 75 dollars so just to totally recap hydro water gas hydro would be average 50 dollars water would be average 100 dollars gas would be average 75 dollars and you will need an internet now people does cannot survive i cannot survive without internet if i don't have internet i cannot send you this video so again nowadays um, you're getting pretty good rates on the internet um, here in windsor i use virgin um, my bill is 40 dollars but again i'm assuming just to be on average side 50 dollars for this video sake 50 dollars for home internet and of course you will you want to drive car so car insurance but the cool thing competitive to bigger cities smaller cities will have a, a very low insurance so in windsor right now for me and my wife we have a like one car but then we have like a dual insurance she's on g2 license i'm on g license so if you're not in canada don't worry about uh, what's g and g2 so g license is something like a superior g2 is like a midterm so the, that's a level one and level two so um if you have g license of course you will your your insurance will go down so right now i'm paying uh, tw uh 220 dollars per month and of course if you own the car then you need to drive it right <laughs> so your gas bills you will have gas bills but a cool thing with windsor we are pretty on the border to us some people get the gas very cheap from us but again i don't want to assume that for now i'll assume that you're buying in windsor only and um good thing is windsor is not a like a huge city it's a pretty decent sized city but pretty much you can go from one place to another place so for working place pretty much hardly it will be 10 to 15 minutes drive so for that like when i was working full time i used to fill my car like a uh, 40 dollars uh, which is a uh, sorry 40 liters uh, in my car um, will again my car is a um, honda civic so it it takes me like for three to four weeks for a uh, one um, tank full so average i would say uh, gas bills you will get like 50 dollars sorry if you're confused with gas bill term if you're watching from international gas is actually petrol so I was confused too when I was new. And of course, you need to eat food, groceries. So again, same thing, right? Like this is something everyone eats different food and different if you're on a diet, there's many things you can assume, but I'm just giving a, an average uh, if you're a people of three to four. So um, I have seen my bills on an average um, is $400. So $400 that is like having a pretty good meal every day and again you know me i'm an indian i love e uh, eating food in the house not outside so majority of the times we cook your personal preference right so would you if you like to cook more that's what i get my 400 dollars a month i spend on 
like uh, vegetables, uh, all the grocery stuff. And of course, you want to use your mobile bill. So mobile bills, again, um, in Windsor, I'm assuming that for my average use, uh, I, uh, so my bill is higher because I'm a realtor, I have a different requirements, but um, for my wife, bill is $50. So that's an average bill. Um, and on top of that, miscellaneous things like, you know, you want to go for clothing, you want to drink, uh, if you have a habits of smoking, um, you know, if you want to host parties in your home. So again, all these miscellaneous things, I would say average $200 a month. So in total, if you are a homeowner, um, I would say like your total uh, cost you can expect is $3,120. Again, it could be high, it could be low. This is just an average number, I would say, based on my personal experience and my personal research. Again, now if you are a renter, if you're looking to you know, rent a place in Windsor, uh, surprisingly, it's not a big difference from being a homeowner. Um, so if you would like to rent a three bedroom, two bath home, on an average, the rents are $1,500. If you recollect my pre uh, initial uh, talk about the mortgage payment for a property, it's pretty much same, $1,530. And in some cases, actually, if you want a, like a better amenities in your rental place, like if you want a garage and if you want additional things, the rent can go as high as like 2000, 2200, 2300. Again, same thing, of course, with the purchase property as well, the mortgage can go up, but again, it's pretty close. Um, the only difference that you would see is, uh, you know, you don't have to pay the property tax. You don't have to pay the insurance you don't have to have that miscellaneous extra um, you know extra two hundred dollars for repairs and maintenance because most likely um, if if that is like a regular maintenance kind of issues your owner will take care of it so by minusing those expenses you can expect your monthly expenses would be two thousand six hundred and ninety five dollars again it could go up it could go low so this is just again based on my assumption and based on when like you know i have my dad with me uh, me and my wife so i'm assuming like a, a small family um three or four so these are all the details that uh, i would say that would cost in windsor but again let me know in comments below if you're living in windsor let me know how close i am with my numbers um if you are looking to live in Windsor, come back, come to Windsor, then uh, let me know how do you like about these numbers. You know, I want to hear uh, your feedback on what do you think about this um, details. So with that, thank you so much for patiently going through all these details with me. And I hope I add some value to you. If you think so, hit that thumbs up button and have a wonderful day.